Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. So how many of you still have an old VHS tape player, huh? You ever see one in your life yet? Well, those of you who grew up in the era of Blockbuster before it became digital, wow, you recognize this box. VHS, what a tape format. What a beginning. Well, we got a new video. Smart Fitness Watch in VHS. Yes. <laughs> no, it's just the box. The box looks so much like the old days. This is a brand new Z-Blaze. This is their Vibe 3 Pro. And talk about evolution. Just like, um, wow, our, our entertainment went from VHS or beta um, on to DVDs and then into what Blu-ray and well same things happening with watches if you remember the original Vibe 3 was a black and white screen simple little thing not much more than a digital watch now we have moved all the way up to the Vibe 3 Color Pro and it's in here and we are going to reveal it to you right now he says right now come on box Ugh. all right nice black box good presentation this one it's a great watch to uh give as a gift i think this way is up we're gonna tear into that but first i want to show you not one but two two buying sources what we're looking at is the original boxed prototype that came straight from z blaze and is available to you through their AliExpress store, which you can check the show notes down below for the link that'll take you over there. And in addition, our good folks at Banggood have got a production unit on the way out. And this one is what you'd get, you know, through the regular supply line. Uh, they have a buying link down below too. And don't let the pricing fool you. We're going to have coupon discounts as well. So you got two different choices on this one, whichever one you'd like to buy through to help support us here. Um, just pick it out uh, from the show notes and you're on your way. What is inside the Vibe 3 Pro? New, full round, touch screen, real-time weather in this, optical heart rate, all day tracking and so forth. Here's the specs on it. Uses regular Bluetooth, Android, and iOS. It uses the DaFit. Tethering app, which is a fun little app. We've reviewed that one before. These are the languages supported. It's fully IP67 waterproof, and it does all these different things, which you'll be seeing as we go through the watch itself. Heart rate monitor, proximity sensor, and accelerometer. It's a 1.3 inch, 240 by 240 color IPS screen with 180 milliamp hour battery, giving you Nice week-long standby time and five good working days of use, and it only takes about two hours to charge. Can't beat that. All right, let's take a look at it. When we open it up, we notice how it's packaged and contoured inside uh, the case. They've really worked on putting this thing together. It's a beefy, strong TPU rubber band, and we've got a screen cover on here that it's telling us we need to peel off. Uh-oh, the sticker came off, not the screen. Well, we'll play with that later. <laughs> you see the writing's all over it. All right. Um, it's got screws simulated on the cover. We have two buttons on it. This says mode. This says a power icon. Uh, two charging pins and the optical heart rate. It's really a lightweight watch. That's very interesting. When we top that out, we've got a user manual, and inside here, we should have the charger. And this one is coming with a da -da -da, little bag. Wow, all sealed up. They're really putting this one together, huh? And there we go, the two-pin magnetic coupler. You'll notice, and I'm sure you have been if you watch our reviews, Whereas the four pin uh, connectors are pretty much standardized, these two pins jump all over the place. Here we have two pins that are relatively far apart. You still have the two magnets and it's not strong enough to hold the watch, but it's a good fit. Um, 
don't interchange them is what I'm saying. If you end up with a small uh, fitness watch or something that has the two pins closer together, it's not going to work on the spacing on this watch. So use the one that came with it and you'll be in good shape. Then we've got the user's manual and Chinese on this side and on this side, as we usually do, we'll run through it, give you a uh, chance to freeze the screen if you want to, to be able to read it. There's the QR code for getting the fit um, or just get it from the Google Play Store, typing it in or use the show notes down below. We've got some color icons showing here on the manual, which is nice. Give you an overview of some of the screens we'll be seeing live here in just a moment. And that's it. It's a short little manual. All right. Let's clean up the studio here. I'm going to get that cover off and we'll uh, charge it and turn it on. The Vibe 3 Pro. One press of the power button and magic happens. Da -da -da -da. There you go. Right into the opening screen. Again and again. It flips out pretty quickly. Uh, that's part of the legacy of this thing having great battery life. It doesn't stay on long. But you notice it keeps flickering back on again because it's got that uh, twist your wrist to see the screen. But like some of them, it appears it's not in the twist as much as it is in the balance. If the watch is facing straight up, it comes on, he says. Okay, now it's not doing it. But anyway, if you're hovering in here, it, it, uh, it comes on. It doesn't take like a significant twist to make it happen. Let's begin. This is a really simple watch to operate. You got a screen that's your opening screen. You got slides and taps. That's how it works. Slide here, we get the heart rate screen. I'll put it on in a minute. And if I wanted to activate it, I tap it and get it to begin. Come again. Here's your step count for the day. Calories burned so far and distance travel. All from the onboard pedometer. Last night's overall sleep time will show up there. You have a built-in timer. Do you see the thing turn blue? Here you go again. Exercise section. Messages. And that's like you got until that thing ends to touch it to get into a deeper level of exploration. A player. The shutter for your camera puts you into that mode. And then some information with others, it says right there, and back again. So that's the looping. Let's move you to a different watch face. Here's a different one. There's three of them in here. Now we're going to go a little bit slower through all of these. It lit up when I touched it. That's interesting. Okay, sliding again to heart rate. I'm going to press, tap it. Tap it. There we go. See, it says loading, measuring heart rate. The diode's blinking. Aha, it... Uh, didn't see me, so it says to please try again. There, it's loading and getting ready to measure. Um, there's Watch the little blue and the white. I guess that's an indicator of sorts because that's the special circle they're using around all of these. I'm coming in at 86 beats. That's reasonable. And 85. And so it's continuously reading it right now for a little while. And the screen is staying on. It just vibrated. And that locked it in at 84. And we'll see that gets transferred over to the app. Okay, that's that screen. Slide again, there's steps. Tap it, nothing happens. But you see, it's going against your goal, so the blue line is going to mark, uh, mark that. I'm not sure on calories, there's only 18 calories. There's your distance so far. All that's computed based on steps. Sleep time, there's nothing that happens when you touch it here either. So all those are set. But when you hit timer, he says, it starts up in time. And you've got an onboard timer in hundreds of a second. And when you tap it again, it freezes it. Tap it again, it starts up from where you were. Tap again, and it freezes it. Slide down, and it takes you out of it. Getting the feel? Timer. Then here's your exercises. Now, when you tap here, I guess you got to tap in the middle. I thought it was in the lower part. You have walking, running, cycling, really great graphics on all of these, rope skipping, badminton, basketball, football, and back again. So let's take one of these. How about running? A lot of you guys do that and go into it. Diode starts for tracking your uh, heart rate. Step counter gets going to track your steps, and the timer is running. So you get those three things 
analyzed in your activity. There's no onboard GPS on this. You're not going to get a track um, uh, on a map or anything, but the data that you collect here will be transferable over to the, uh, the app. Now, how do you get out of this thing? Press the button, I guess. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, and that shut off the light and everything. So those are the fitness categories that you have to work with. Then you have messaging. You get in here, and if you have any, you'll be able to read them directly. And weather. And there's tomorrow's forecasts as well. You can change centigrade and Fahrenheit uh, with the, uh, the weather app as well. And change the location. That's Shenzhen, China right there. Here's the onboard player that'll play music that's on your phone, through your phone. This is just a remote uh, uh, activator to play the music if you have anything there. And I don't at this point. Back again. And then the shutter. So, bringing the app over briefly. Wow, that's really bright. Okay, when I hit the shutter button, it puts the camera on. And if I take the picture, three, two, one, I'm wiggling it so you can see when it takes a picture. Well, I guess it already did. Yeah, there's another one. So it's taking a picture using your phone and it's storing it to uh, the memory of the phone as well, not in the watch. Just a remote shutter thing. And then here where it says Others, this is the Vibe 3. This is where you have Find Your Phone. It's vibrating right now because I have it in silent mode. You have... Uh, mute, so you can mute the watch. The brightness, let's walk you through that. Brightness, swipe to adjust. Darn. Okay, I gotta swipe sideways. There we go. There's its brightest, which is really, really good and bright, viewable outdoors. There's its dimmest, which is really dim for nighttime use. A good range in overall brightness on this one. I'll run it at three for us to, to do our report here. And then reset everything, power it off, and that takes you back to the beginning. There you go. And then back to time, where I can press and hold and show you the third of the three different watch faces. So that's pretty much what this does. You've got a upper button and you've got a lower button. Lower button's turning us on and off. Upper button is doing the same at this point. In different modes, you might have different things happening. Um, like if you're in heart rate, that's going to take you back that way, and this is going to turn you off. And that's the overall uh, Vibe 3 watch. Not yet, not yet. Don't get anxious. We want to look at the app first. Come on over here, app. Okay, we're still in that phone mode. Now I'm going to adjust the brightness here. There we go. Uh, the DuFit app. We load it into DeFit, takes you and uh, you set up an account, and you get into it, and it's tracking your step information, sleep, heart rate, and then outdoor running if you've got any activity that you did over there. And that stuff just all comes into the app. You've got a center section here where it shows you the watch that you're connected to. When you tether, you get actual pictures and listings of the watches that it will work with, and you just hit pair, and it, it uh, connects you up there. This is where you can change any of the three different watch faces from the app if you want to. You've seen all three of them already. I don't like the upper buttons. Then you've got notifications where you can set up which ones will go to your uh, watch. You can set alarms. There's the shutter activity. And then under others, we have all these different things. Find the device, which if I activate that from here, it just is vibrating now on the watch. You can change your 1224, British Imperial, uh, Do Not Disturb Times. You can set up sedentary reminders, and the all-day heart rate reading is coming in here. Change your languages. It's got this quick view thing. That's the twist the wrist to see the time. And you can set it up so it doesn't happen at night while you're sleeping with it. You can turn on weather if you want. You can change the temperature system and the city uh, where the weather will come in. And all that happens in that middle tab, which is here. And then finally, you've got your own profile, gender and birth date and stride length or step length, which is really valuable if you know what that is for getting more accurate distance measurements. 
you got the goals that you can set up for uh, your daily run, and an overall about with an update to beta if you wanted to test out some of the new features that DeFit is bringing uh, and help them test it. So three tabs on the app, all those functions on the watch, and two sources you can get it from. Right here from Banggood, the Z-Blaze Vibe 3 Pro Color Long Life's uh, Smartwatch Fitness Health Watch. Check the show notes again for a discount coupon, or you can pick it up directly through AliExpress at the Z-Blaze Corporate Store. And of course, they've got a link in the show notes as well. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. We appreciate your subscription and your thumbs up on our videos, and we'll see you again soon.